Hello, Moira here from Daisy Knot, and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to work a slip stitch round around the body of your work. We use a hook size one up from the one that we used for the body. In my case it's a five and a half millimetre one. My pattern's telling me that it's colour D and where that red block is is where I actually start, which is three stitches in from the side. So I count three stitches in and I'm inserting my hook into the front loop of the stitch. I secure my first stitch with a chain and then I'm going to create slip stitches all the way along using the front loop of the slip stitch on the previous row. This can be quite difficult to pick up, especially considering you've got to go all the way around. So do just persevere. I must admit, I had a very sore finger by the time I finished it, because I tend to use my nail to pick things up. You can see that I'm doing that here. But do persevere. Keep crocheting with your slip stitch all the way to the corner. When you get to the corner, crochet two chains. One is for the top and one is for the side. You're actually slip stitching in between the different rows now that we're on the side of the um, blanket. You can see that there's a natural hole that you can actually sort of find to be able to stick your hook into. We're looking for a nice even row of slip stitches with the two chains going round the corner. So we're at the next corner this time and the two chain increase this time is one for the side and one for the top. And when we come to do the next round we will actually work into those two corner chains. Adding chains at the border this way allows our border to expand. When you get back to the first stitch you are ready to join to that very first stitch. So finish off our last two stitches, snip off our yarn and pull it through and then we're going to join with an invisible stitch to that first slip stitch. Get a big eyed needle or a darning needle and thread it up with the piece of yarn that you've got left and we're going to make our own stitch. You can see that our stitches are little V's. Now the stitch that we're going to join into is not the first chain. It's actually the first slip stitch, which is where my needle is at the moment, into that V, into that first slip stitch. And we're going to make a nice even stitch that will look the same. So to make an invisible stitch, we insert our needle under both loops of the first stitch at the right hand side. And then we insert our needle through the centre of the very last stitch, going through the back making sure that you don't actually see your yarn at the front, of course. And you can see that makes a really nice little V-stitch. You can hardly see it, hence the name Invisible Stitch. We then just weave our yarn in at the back to finish. And we're now ready to start our border. That's our slip stitch row all done.